Hello my friends, it's Matt Skinner here again and today we're going to go over how to insert a photo into your blog posts. So once again we're going to want to log into our back office of our WordPress blog and we're going to want to go ahead and we're going to want to go over to edit and from edit we're going to want to choose the specific post whatever post it is that you have to edit and in that post I picked a couple you know pictures out today nutritional type pictures since our article has to do with choosing high quality nutritional supplements I decided a couple different pictures we'd pick and what you want to do is let me uh, let me rewind here for a second kind of going a little quick is we're going to want to put our cursor right where we want our picture to go so we're going to choose the top half of this post right here and I always like to put it on the left hand side because if you put your cursor on the right hand side like you want to put the picture over here a lot of times what happens is it breaks the paragraph up so for this purpose let's put it on the left hand side we're going to click on insert or add an image right here and from there we're going to choose some files that are on our desktop some pictures that I recently put on there today let's see let's get this to pull up desktop here so we actually let's go with this one here I want to pick this picture and we're going to want to put it on the top left hand side of our article I mean you could choose the right hand side whatever works best for you and as you can see this picture here is actually kind of large it's a 575 by 329 which you know pretty much take up most of the top of your page so what I recommend doing is, you know, we're going to delete this right here. And what I recommend doing is, see how it says full size here? We don't really want to put the full size one in. So let's go with the medium size. And we'll select the left hand side of your blog post right there, as you can see. And then we're just going to click on insert in the post. And as you can see, we have success with it going right where we wanted it to go. We're going to make this a little bit smaller. And uh, what we want to do next is we're going to add another picture. Let's add it down here. So we'll add it on this paragraph now. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it once again to the left. We're going to go up here and click on Add an Image. After we click on that icon there, we're going to go back in and select another file, which we'll choose, how about this food pyramid right here? We're going to select that one. And then... From there, we're going to want to scroll back down again. We're going to want to go and put it on the right-hand side. And as you can see, the full-size one, you could choose, but it's really going to take up a lot of your page. So we'll go with the medium, which is a 300 by 240, which is a nice size to put in your post. So we're going to insert that in the post on the right-hand side. And as we insert in the post, voila! We got it right there, right where we wanted it to go. So now let's go down here and put another picture to finish up the images we're going to put on this post. We're going to click on the left hand side again. We're going to go up to images. We're going to select files. We're going to go to our final picture, which is this one here. This one's a pretty big one too, so as you see it already self-populates to make it a 300 by 199. And let's, since we did the last one on the right, let's put this one on the left so that we kind of bounce the pictures back and forth. Now I really never go with center. I mean if it's a big picture, then I'd use center, but for the most part I'm using left and right so that my text can go on the left or right side of the picture. So I'm going to insert this one into post, and voila, once again we've got another picture put into the post. So let's see how these pictures turned out. We're going to go to update, which is your link over here where you'd normally hit publish. Since it's published already, we just do an update to it. And then once you update, we're going to go here. We're going to pick open link in new in a new window. And voila, there we have pictures added in to our blog post. As you can see, we got picture picture number 1 here at the top the second picture right there and the third picture 
in our third to last paragraph at the bottom here. So like I say, it's really easy to add images in. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them at the bottom of this page. I thank you for coming here. Look, look in the future for more videos that I'll be posting and putting out as far as how to pimp your blog even more. I thank you once again. Have a great day. Bye-bye.